Hey everybody, it's Mike again for another edition of the Tech Corner, and today we have a 2850. Uh, we're going to be doing a system board replacement. Now that can seem like a very daunting task for this machine. There's a lot going on in there, and there's also uh, a lot of people asking questions like, I replaced the board and now I'm having this issue or this issue. There's a few little points in here I want to highlight from doing this uh, that are troublesome. So let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and open up our box. Mine's currently not plugged in. You can leave them plugged in. Uh, I personally, I have a little bit better success unplugging them completely when I do this. Um, we're going to start by pulling back the back plane. This here can confuse people because they don't know what to mean. There's two points here where they're highlighted in blue. We're going to put our thumbs on them. We're going to lift. And we're going to pull this back a little bit. And unhook our wire. It's a pinch. There's a blue lever back here for our riser card and RAID controller. These can be really stiff when it's sitting on its rails in the rack. Um, a gentle back pressure can do it. Also sometimes um, if, they're, if they're stuck, um, you can give them just a light palm tap just to get them up. We're going to remove that and set it off to the side. Next up is going to be our rear fans. There is a little tab here that kind of squeezes. We're just going to push it and lift these straight up. In our case, uh, we have a drag, so we're going to remove that as well. Um, kind of got to pinch it and push these little blue tabs apart. There's four of them. Put that back too. Uh, next are going to be our fans. There's four of them. And you kind of just grab them in the middle and, and pinch them and the, the bars lift up. We're going to lift those out of here as well. Uh, this here, the enclosure that houses the fans, there's a little tab here that you got to kind of pinch and you'll see there's a little slide in here and it just moves over to the right wiggle and that comes out. Um, I'm going to do our, our memory next. These just split apart. We can lift our memory sticks out. Our uh, RAID key from our, our RAID controller is still in here. Make sure you swap that over. I have seen a couple people forget. No big deal. Our processor. The heat sink uh, removal here. There's two blue tabs. Kind of push them down and spread them apart and lift them. Now this here is a good thing to notice what I'm about to do for removing the processor. Some people just kind of grab and pull. Uh, what you want to do, because there's thermal paste under there and it gets really st uh, sticky, um, is give it a wiggle. It breaks that apart and then pull the heat sink off. What this does is it doesn't pull the processor off with it, uh, then you have no chance of bending the pins. So this is the processor release lever here, this little silver one. And you notice the socket moved, so that's releasing the pins. We're going to pull that out of there. And so we don't lose it, I like putting it right back on the heat sink. Now the last thing here, and you're probably going to need a screwdriver because they're always stiff, there's going to be two power supplies in the back with a thumb screw. You don't have to pull them all the way out of the unit, but it helps to at least loosen them. And that removes them from the board. And now we're going to actually remove the board from the system. There's a thumb tab here that lifts. We're going to lift it. The board pulls towards us. And we're going to lift it out of the box. So there's our old one. Bye. Be the pain of my life. Now we've got our nice new one. Get nice and gently. Now this is on kind of like a sliding track here. You'll hear it click. You know it's in. Let's start by putting things back in the opposite of the removal. Let's push down. Slide them in. 
push the arms down. We'll go ahead and tighten them up. The black assembly here. It just kind of goes on these little balls on the top, these little nubs. And slides over and locks. All right, let's go ahead and put our processor in now. And then you're gonna to wanna to lift this bar up before you put it in. And you'll notice the triangles on your processor and board here. Line those up. And you'll feel it go down nice and easy. If you gotta force it, make sure the pins are straight. Don't force it, you'll bend them. And then push this bar down and it locks it in. Put our heat sink down. All right, let's do our memory and our RAID key over here. You'll feel them click. Make sure they're open. A nice even pressure. Click. Let's do our drag card in our case. Just kind of give it a nice little twist in. You know, see on here it's giving you a push here first. Everything clicks into place. We're going to do our fan assembly here. Just kind of line everything up. Now, if the lid doesn't go on, this probably isn't in the right spot. There's a little hole on the board. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a on the assembly, it's got to fit down in there real nice. Okay. Uh, one of the main points of putting this back is kind of a, uh, a choking point that I get a lot of questions on that it's not running after the, the swap is uh, this RAID controller and this board. Uh, there's a lot of pins on these two connections here. Uh, they got to sit just right and there's kind of a little, little trick to it. Um, while the bar is all the way up, kind of push in as far as you can. You, You'll start to see this move a little bit, and once that's all the way as far as you can get it by hand, then push this bar, and that'll lock into place. Although I did get a little ahead of myself, I'm going to do that last. Uh, kind of the same deal with this card here. There's a lot, of, a lot of pins, and there's a channel here, and a channel here, and another one here. Gotta line up. Kind of trick with this. Now this is why you see I was a little ahead of myself. This connector's got to go under that bar. But what I like to do is before I push this bar, make sure it's everything's lined up and just sitting. Then I push the bar down. But that's not the end of it. That looks like it's good, but it's not. Kind of give it a little push. It may seem crazy, but it works. Okay, now we're going to go back to what I was saying here. Push this as far as it can go, then push the bar evenly up. Everything's good there. Tuck our wire. Finally, we'll put our fans back in. And there's little channels on there as well. That really kind of fits right in and clicks. Cover back on. Tighten her up. Plug it in, and everything's good in the world again.